Hello, my name's Mark. We're back again for another video. In today's video, we're going to be making a parallel guide for a track saw. Um, quite simple, quite quick to make, and you can make repetitive, loads of repetitive cuts with your to a track saw. But maybe like if you're cutting an eight before four sheet down, and you want to cut loads of pieces of the same size. To start off with, you need to just need some M8 bolts. Um, these are just. But what I found is some of them, some of them will fit in, and some of them won't. But if you just get, if you can see, if you just get a file, they won't fit in. If you just get a file and just run it down the two sides. So if you, but some of the the ones that are with the smaller heads will just fit fit in. So then you can slide them in. Like that to allow you to attach the, that allows you then to attach the guide to 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 the rail. You now need um, some MDF or ply or anything really. This is, this is about that's nine mil, so it's a pr pretty much flush with the top of the track. You want two strips about sort of I don't know 80 to 90 mil, mil, mil wide. Well, you can make them as long as you want, but I reckon about 600, and that'll allow you to, to cut a sheet in half or any sort of anything of that. Or okay, I've got a, a couple of rips of MDF. I cut down now. I now need a slot, pretty much the full length of them. All good. So I'm going to just cut that out with a router. Okay, I've routed out slots, slots to get down the, the middle. So I now want to attach, attach that to that bolt on the rail. There. So I've got. Got just this piece of metal strap in there. So I'll just drill it out. That can be fit, be fit, fixed to, to there. So I'll dr drill it out. And we can we can fix it on. Okay, so I've made these little bits of metal, metal up. So the next thing is to attach these to the track. So just dr drill the hole in there. But I'll we'll wing that on there so it'll be easy to get on and off. So to, to take them on and off, all you really going to need to do is to, is to slacken the wing nuts off and then they'll just slide off the edge if you don't want to. So you now need to, to attach a couple of screws in those two holes to attach it tight to the back of the rail. My fingers out of the way, you can't see. So to attach that tight to the, to the back of the rail, they're both there. Okay, I've now got the... I've now got the... These pair of parts are attached to the rail. They're tightly, tight, tightly bite up against the rail. So what I need now is two stops. Just two stops on this, on these ends. So, so when it's hooked over the sheet, you can keep, cut, cut up. parallel. So I just cut, cut a couple more blocks of MDF with a hole in. I've drilled a hole in a couple of pieces of MDF just in the center, just a couple of centers holes. So I'm now put that in under there. Wing that on there. So it's now ready to start using. I'll set it up and show you just, just so you can see how it works. So all you have to do now is put your is put your your track on on your line where your marks will be want to cut. Then move these. Move these two blocks in to touch the back. So, so every time you, you you put push those blocks up against that 
that part, the distance between the, the back edge and the front of the track always stays the same. So you can make multiple re re repeat cuts if that's what you need to do. Hope you found this video helpful. Um, I mean, it's quite a little ch 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 cheap way if you do have to make loads of multiple cuts for keep keeping the track in exactly the, the same place. If you've enjoyed it, uh, uh, please think about subscribing now. That'd be great. Thanks a lot for watching.